Hi guys, welcome back. If you are a finance professional and you are thinking that I will move my career from domain to SAP and particularly we will talk about SAP FICO. So let me warn you, most people they are wasting the time and money on uh, learning the things in a wrong way. Today we will discuss what are the different mistakes people are doing and how you can avoid those things and effectively you can complete your learning process. Mistake 1. Treating SAP like tally or any other accounting application. Many finance people expect that SAP FICO or the SAP particularly the ERP it's just another accounting tool but SAP is not one accounting tool it is SAP is one of our the leading ERP so it is not just any uh, accounting software like any other applications so you have to understand that the entire integrations between other modules right so how one module is integrated with other modules example when we are talking about SAP FICO so FI is how integrated with MM or how it is integrated with SD how it is connected with the CO or what are the costing calculations or costing impact so if you are just only going to fo focus on the accounting the bookkeeping then you will never understand the full process right so here we will take one small example and there we will understand how it is connected with each other so we know that in any organizations there are different type of uh, business processes will be there different type of transactions will be recorded so if I will take here some examples now you can say that we are going to record various type of purchase related activities right so uh, it may be related to procurement related to manufacturing transactions right so another one you can say that here we are going to have our recording of transactions like your inventories inventory transactions inventory valuations right so here we have uh, other options like the recording of liquidity means cash and bank so in organization all these activities are there or whether they are using any accounting software they are using ERP they are using SAP whatever but this business process or this various type of activities they are right now they are doing so when you are going to learn you have to also make mastery on these areas recording of your income statement ultimately you have to prepare your uh, financial statement statements or you are going to record our day-to-day uh, -day operations day-to-day -day transactions so this includes your managing your fixed assets too right so this includes also uh, recording of your any other transactions now these are my different type of business activities different type of area of operation in one organization it is there and we know that in end we have to go for the preparation of the reports so that means in end we are going to prepare our financial statements or nothing but your p and l and balance it so when we are going to learn sap so just think and particularly if you are preparing for the consulting role analyst role don't restrict yourself that i will only learn the accounting part or only i will learn the fi part you need to understand all these areas when you will go for the consulting role you are not supposed to do few activities related to areas you are going to design end to end business process right so that is what it is required next i am going to show you that uh, how the business process is connected with each other in SAP point of view it is a general like you can say business understanding point of view now we are going to understand that how it is connected with each other so if this is my requirement then now we will understand how in SAP the organization structure should be drafted and how it is connected with this one if we'll check this particular clip you can see it's not like only finance part is configured here here we have logistic is also there that is our plant we have purchases there we have sales is there we have uh, our production is there then multiple things are there okay so i already prepared the organization structure the learning series you may check that one so that means being a consultant you need to understand that all areas or you need to configure the all areas not only one area you need to configure so once you understood the business process then you understood the uh, you configure the business process organization structure you have drafted then next one is you will find that in the organization structure whatever different areas are there that we are going to connect with SAP products or nothing but your SAP modules like you can see that in the previous slide I already explained that we have a inventory related transactions will be there so that is why here one department we have that is related to inventory we have uh, uh, production is also there that we have one inventory PP module is there inventory point of view we have procurement module is there accounting point of view FI module is there 
कॉस्ट कैलकुलेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सी ओ मॉड्यूल इज देयर एच आर इज देयर डिलीवरी सेल्स प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग परचेज सो एवरीथिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑपरेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड एज ए कंसल्टेंट यू आर गोइंग टू मैनेज एवरीथिंग सो दैट इज नथिंग बट योर ई आर पी सो ऑल सो एज वी नो दैट when we are going to learn erp so erp is not just one applications or one area we are going to give the solutions we have a good understanding in all areas you need to when you will prepare you have to of course fico you are going to learn but you have to also understand how it is integrated with other modules how it is connected with the other modules later i will show you some practical examples there you will find that what i'm exactly i'm saying how it is connected with that one or not may now if we'll talk about mistake number 2 so learning only the transactions not the business process so here i have already explained what exactly the business process i have seen that many people they are learning or they are memorizing various type of transaction codes so we know that there are two type of profiles are there end users and the consultants and of course when you are going for a training or you are learning so obviously you are not preparing for the end users because for end users in fact no training is required when you will join any company they will just uh, uh, give a basic training and you can start working on their particular applications so when you are pr planning a proper training or planning a proper learning path that means i'm i'm expecting that you are going for a consulting role or analyst role at least so here as a consultant if we'll just only prepare that few t codes you are going to learn right so those things are not going to work you have to understand the entire business process which i already explained so companies don't hire consultant for their posting of invoices for that they have the users are there so users are going to post various type of transactions so they hire for solving the business problems if we'll join any support projects so there you are going to Uh, work on the tickets if you are there in the implementation project you are going to draft or we are going to implement the entire business process in the sap applications for example if right now you are work if you are learning an fico then might be you are posting a b60 for your vendor invoice but in reality we never post a b60 for vendor invoice because we know that vendor invoice is not directly posted by the finance team or by the ap team particularly when we will go for the invoice with reference to po because here we are going to we know the process so purchase requisition will be there then po will be created po will be converted into gr gr will be converted into invoice then finally accounting team is going to get the update or your vendor open items will be there and ap team is going to make the payment and reconciliations r to r is going to do the reconciliation this is the entire cycle but when you are going to just post a vendor invoice through ab60 that means you are just going to select the vendor as credit entry and something you are going to debit this is not the realistic one right maybe in a applications like tally this is how you are posting a transactions purchase account debit vendor is going to credit but in reality what purchase so there is nothing called purchase account right you are going to procure something you are going to procure your stock so in that case stock is going to debit grr is going to credit or you are going to asset purchase asset so asset is going to debit right so that is why what you are going to purchase that account is going to debit and we have two way three way matching concepts are there so when you are just going to post a b60 and you are saying that i know the procurement configuration so it is not going to work similarly if you are going to take the example of a b70 where you are going to post a customer invoice customer is going to debit and revenue is going to credit so that is also not going to work so it should be a proper process should be there now what i exactly i have said here let's check this one in the sap system so that you will get more clarity so i'm going to show you two invoices one is related to vendor invoice but directly we will not check the vendor invoice from the fi point of view we will see the entire process and another one will be the customer invoice so let me go to the sap screen and there i will show you if you are using on premises you can verify this one in on premise system or you if you are using cloud uh, sap fiori there also you can verify so i am using here for a better experience i am using here fiori so let's check this one in the cloud so i will go to the particular applications okay and i will check this application now i am the finance user or i am the finance from the finance team i want to see the entire process which is completed in the uh, multiple in after having the multiple integrations okay so here i've just randomly pick one document here 14000 and i can see here some related documents are available and now i want to see the uh this is my accounting entry accounting point of view so it is customer invoice right so i want to see the document flow entire document flow i want to see here okay so here 
right now if i am the finance team so i can see this document is there so accounting point of view this document now if you are going to post a b70 entry then you are not going to get the process so here process is first we have created the sales order sales order converted into delivery delivery then pgi done then after that invoice is there now entire this process is part of your sd so as we have integrated FI with SD, so when we perform this activity, FI with MM, FI with SD, so with reference to the goods delivery, I can see the document is posted here with reference to outbound delivery, with reference to this document, one accounting document is generated. So if you have idea about the goods receipt document, so you can see the document, it is again another process is involved here. So it is uh, splitting of item is there. So that is why multiple is there. But just try to understand at high high level. So this document is generated. This is a goods delivery document with reference to outbound delivery. So with reference to this document, this document is generated. Similarly, when we process the billing in SD so with reference to this document 9 all zeros 1 2, then this RV document or the billing document is generated. So, which is this one is 14001. Now, if you are just going to post FB70 entry, then you are not going to see this output. You will just debit customer and you are going to credit the revenue. And in reality, this type of process companies are not following. So, in interview, you are going to face the problem when they are going to ask the questions related to process. Similarly, if I will take another document, so here a couple of documents are there. Let me pick the first document. So this document I want to see. This is the vendor invoice, which is again generated from other modules. I can see here some related documents are there, means it is a finance document, accounting document I can see, but with reference to that other documents are available. Here also I want to see the document flow. So let's check this one. So here I can see purchase order created order converted into gr gr converted into invoice this is your logistic part and with reference to that the accounting document is also available the previous one i was showing related to customer it is related to vendor so here we have the goods receipt we document type is there then we have our uh, document related to invoice is there so this one then finally when we make the payment then the payment document is also generated so this is the process right so whether they are using the applications sap or any other erp this is the requirement but as sap is the fully integrated application so here we can configure it properly now this output we will get when you will properly configure the entire business process if you're just going to only focus on fi then of course you are not going to get this result so as a result your client will not happy with you and as a as a result also companies are not going to hire you Mistake number three, which I already explained, that is ignoring the SAP integrations. Many times I am I have seen that people they are only focusing on the FI and particularly GL, AP, AR. So when I like how you posted the customer invoice FB70, vendor invoice FB60, but already we it's proven that it is not going to work in this way. It should be integrated one because when you are going to work on projects, when you are going to work on SAP project, FI always integrated with MM, SD, CO. And why it is the requirement of integration already you got some idea but this is a small example only but in reality when you will work or you take any business process you will find that multiple things are connected with each other or it is integrated with each other you take example of product costing now product costing we are not going to just calculate manually something so when multiple things whether it is pp module co module fi mm all these things will be configured and it will be integrated then only it is going to work so that is why always companies used to hire when you have the end-to-end -end implementation knowledge because if you just have a knowledge about like you can say I know I know how to post a customer invoice or I know how to post a GL entries but I don't know what about the integrations I don't have any exposure with other modules then in interview uh, you will get rejected or if you are going to ignore the integrations you will never clear your interview and this is how maximum people i have seen that they are not getting the suitable job or they are getting rejected they are not getting as they don't have the project exposure during the tra training so they are get cvs also not get, not get shortlisted so they are not getting the interview calls also so it is highly required mistake number four focusing only on theory not practice because SAP is an IT product, right? So when you will go for SAP consulting and if you are not going to practice, you will only concentrate on the theory 
and uh, you will just learn the th- theory you will remember the theory by heart the theory then it will be very difficult because if you will observe me anything which i am explaining i have some scenario is ready because with reference to the scenario i am explaining i have not i have not by hearted anything i am just explaining whatever i have configured or whatever i am demonstrating so if you will not work in the system you never practice anything you will not try all scenarios you will not configure the projects all the um, business process in the system and when they will ask the questions that time it will be very difficult for you because if you will try to remember cross questions will Will be there and when the cross questions will be there because you never work in the systems you never did the hands on so that time you will not feel the confidence and uh, they will confuse you and uh, ultimately the it will end up with a problem so that is why if you're just going to read the books it is not going to work it is highly required that you have to practice and when you are practicing just don't do the copy paste like same thing again and again don't do you try with different business scenarios you try with different projects from different blueprints right so whatever it is provided by your training so all this business process you need to configure right and when you are configuring think from the business point of view what they are looking here what is their end result and how you are going to give the solution so i believe that you are learning if 100% if we will say that learning path then 70% should be on system and 30% on cons- uh, on concept concept means once you you uh, uh, you have a good command on your product or on system then same thing you have to explain in english that's it there is nothing called theory in any it product not positioning their finance domain experience i have seen that many people they are not showing their sap i mean their uh, finance or the domain experience so they used to hide, hide this one or they used to manipulate their experience it's not required companies actually when you will go for a functional module in that case your domain is very very important because on the basis of your domain also they are going to give you the weightage so sap if you're going for it if you're a technical module you are a bap then that is a different concept but when you are going for a functional role your uh, domain is very important and in fact it is your biggest strength you will find that in a job requirement two things will be there one will be domain experience another one will be relevant experience domain experience means your current accounting finance experience and relevant experience means if you have the sap experience if you have the other erp experience also other erp for example let's say you have worked on uh, already in oracle fusion or you are currently working on any other applications let's say Uh, any other applications it may be microsoft it may be zd so those experience also will be counted here so no need to do any manipulations but yes you have to show multiple capstone projects in your project portfolio then only it is going to work so no need to do any manipulations because it will not highlight for example let's say you have a strong experience on accounts payable five years you already work on the accounts payable so that one is your greatest strength right it's not your weakness so no need to do any manipulations you need to highlight that how how that experience is going to manage in future when you are going to work on the fimm integrations or how you are going to do the vendor management your how you are going to configure the payments because sap functional module is not for freshers for example you don't have any experience domain experience you don't have then in that case no company is going to choose your profile but if you have a domain experience utilize that one no need to hide it or no need to do any manipulations sap is not only the it programmers right so when you are going for functional module the relevant experience and the domain experience is very very important so no need to do any manipulations your finance background is going to give you the edge right if you have already the experience so these are the few areas which i have listed so i'm sure when you will prepare yourself you need to keep in mind and accordingly you need to prepare so if you have any queries any confusion feel free to add in the comments i will reply on that see you with another topic bye